feed this right behind your head. Okay. Don't move. Uh, got it. We're going to do a little interview, so maybe when oh, you uh, say, leave, hey, say hi, Ray. Don't let anyone walk in. Okay. Well, I won't be here. I'm, we're shooting the gun, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so one of my actors. Oh, Ernie's driving through Gore. So one of my actors who was invited to a rival party today, mm -hmm. and even though he's in my movie we were going to show, said he was going to go to someone else's party today. Oh. Can you imagine? <laughs> but I think I'm going to twist his arm because he knows the press is here. Oh, okay. He's a total fame whore. <laughs> now you'll enjoy meeting him. He's from Bremerton and, uh, you know, almost everyone in this project is from locally. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Um. Yeah, if you just want to talk a little bit about how, like, what this film fest is, kind of, kind of just some of the stuff you told me in the interview before, I guess, basically, like, that it's what, how many years it's been going. Um, you could talk about your film a little bit too, if you want. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is the 2019 Gorst Film Festival Underground, with emphasis on underground because you know we're not trying to be Sundance. We're trying to. Kind of be what underground used to be. Um, it's not just low budget, but independent thought. You know, people that may not fit into a film festival, you know, in a big town, we want them to feel welcome because there's so much creativity out there. But not everyone, I think, creates a venue that appreciates it. I think a lot of film festivals have become just a big number. Let's just fit in, you know, the audience and herd everyone in. We want everyone to feel special, you know, we want to interview them, give them a Q&A, you know, we just want everyone to have a voice here. And I think the whole thing is, even in an age with iPhones where you can make a movie, you know, for nothing, there still needs to be more venues for unique people to show their work with people in an audience. You know, it's cool to see it on YouTube, it's cool to watch it on your phone, but the thing we give them that you know, they can't get on their own, is a really appreciative audience. You know, we really try to tell the people, you know, this is something special that you can't see in Gorst every day or Kitsap County. And, you know, we've had, I think, three people from LA here today, one person from San Francisco, a woman from Australia originally, um, and some locals, you know, a guy from Port Orchard who is a really talented guy and I didn't even realize we had you know this really talented guy in town so what I'm telling everyone is whether you live in town or you came out of state use this as a way to network to stay in touch with other creative people uh, one guy who heard about us through the Kitsap Sun said he wants to create a little artist movement in Silverdale with some friends and I said you know networking is the first step you know show up at an event like this and tell people what you're doing and they might be able to find a venue for you they'll help you put the word out to other artists that they know so i think the whole thing is we're taking the best of the small town and we're keeping that small town feel of everyone knowing each other helping each other no snobbery like if you're in a you know a big film festival and everyone's acting like you know they're the next hollywood big thing we're just trying to be very supportive where we're at, not trying to pretend to be something that we're not. We're just saying it's okay to be an underground filmmaker and, you know, that we're the coolest people on the planet. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks. I know. I tried not to let it be a run-on sentence. <laughs> yeah, great. Look, can we ask you fun. something? <laughs> yeah. I know you're, like, kind of working. Sure. <laughs> so... He's the interviewer, though. Oh, do you want me to ask her? Ask her something so we can, because she's here, so I thought we should ask her something. <laughs> Where did you first hear about the Gorst Underground Film Festival? Um, I think someone else in the newsroom, it like came up on their Facebook when we were just looking for different events and story ideas or something, and I was like, oh, what, what's that? That sounds kind of cool. And um, so then they clicked on it, and they were like, oh yeah, Gorst has this film festival. I think they had it last year. And I just started in May, so I wasn't here last year. But 
one of the other reporters was like, oh yeah, I was going to cover that, but it sounded a little too scary for me. <laughs> so I was like, well, it sounds perfect for me, so I would love to cover that. So I just looked into it more and then contacted you and yeah. <laughs> So it's interesting you start journalism or working for a paper now. There's so much is going online. Mm -hmm. And you got an online part of the Kitsap <laughs> Sun, but you're still a print paper. Yeah. How much longer do you think print will last? I don't know. I think, I think there will always be people who like to have like a physical copy of what they read. But I do think, I don't know, going forward, it's important for newsrooms to be able to adapt and be, I guess, interested in doing things like video or more, I don't know, visual things that will catch people's attention online or they can just quickly scroll and read it on their phone.